I'll tell you something they should have taken odds on, and that was the return of the Barbarian. I got a call this morning, a text message actually, from Joel, who said, I am leaving town in two days, going out to Kansas City, took a job. I'm only in town one more day. If you want me to come into the podcast, I'll come on down. And I said, I do. I will pick you up. Where are you? Gave me his location. He was at a Starbucks in an adjoining city. Grabbed him. And without further ado, he is here. Joel, how are you? I'm wonderful. Apparently, there's only a handful of people on this planet with a goddamn personality, and yours truly is one of them. So tell me, how how do you and I handle this? Because we haven't spoke either. In, I mean, are we going on a month, three weeks? I mean, what, what do we here, do here? Are we here, good? Me, Can let, we just move me, on? You want to hash let, something out? What do you want to do? Let me just walk you through this real quick. So I'm at the gym, and I... I kill a workout. I absolutely kill. What literally one of the best workouts I've had, maybe in my life, maybe in my life. So I'm sitting down. You know, I know I'm going to Kansas City uh, tomorrow. I'm sitting down. I'm hiring a kite. You know, I got the endorphins running, and I'm like, I'm thinking about Brother Chael, and I'm like, you know what, Brother Chael's having a baby girl. That's pretty goddamn cool. Then I started thinking about Brother Marty. I'm like, well, Brother Marty's got prostate cancer. That That's not a cool thing. Then I started thinking about those nitwits in Manchester getting fucking killed yesterday. And I'm like, this is stupid. Whatever whatever we got, it's done. And that's and then I text you and I said, yeah, let's do this thing. Let's, All right, cool. let's do this thing. So that, that works yeah, for me. So we're, we're, we're good, brother. We're good. We've been through the muck together. And that's my side. Everybody want to know what my side was? My side is that, that we're back. We're, we're still brothers. All right. Boom. Uh, I'm good with that. So let's see here. Let's get into some news. You know what made a lot? Of, well, here, you know what? Before we get into the new, the drama uh, the, un- all sorts of drama went down at that USC retreat. Before we get into that, was there ever a performance over the weekend? I'm talking about Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald, now, to, to appreciate what Rory McDonald did, you have to appreciate who he did it against, and Paul Daly is nobody's joke. Has- and, he's, and he's been on a run. Paul, Paul Daly's Daly. been on a run. Yeah, and Paul Daly's fighting at home. And, you know, there's something to be said for ring rust. And Paul Daly was fresh. I mean, I like what you said about a run. I call it momentum. But, yes, it's 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 the same thing. Paul Daly is nobody's fool. And Rory did not have a very hard time. Rory, I really think he deserves a pat on the back. Going into enemy territory, which was the U.K., fighting Daly, which is not easy, being on top of the bill in a main event, coming off of two losses, having a little bit of layoff. I mean, there was a lot of moving parts there, and Rory McDonald delivered. And, I mean, what were your thoughts on that? Did that surprise you? Because a lot of people yeah. were taking Daly, including myself. I, I, I mean, I think I overall took Rory. I was just saying, look, daly has got this power that's an intangible, and I'm, I'm just sure as hell not counting him out. All right, there's almost nothing not to root for Rory about. He He's a good guy. He's a class act. He fights his ass off. Um, He's so good. But I said, that's a shot fighter. I said, people ask me, and I said, yeah, man, I I love Rory. I'll be rooting for him. But there's only a handful of times, a handful, that a fighter has lost in a, in a fashion that he lost against Robbie Lawler. Now he comes back and he loses against Wonder Boy. Okay, that wasn't a barn burner, but Wonder Boy is a—he's a one-off. He's a Maya. That's a different cat to fight. And I was looking at it, and I said, you know, he's—that's a shot fighter. He, based on history, again, I don't think there's five times a fighter has made it to the top, lost in devastating fashion, and then came back and had a dominant performance against a really good fighter. And Rory did it. So good for him. The the mental battle that he had to go through to get that performance out of him because what happens to the fighters is they don't lose it in practice they don't the guy gets knocked out he comes back he's a world beater in practice you've been through it yourself where you're like hey man everything's here then you go out and perform completely different and there's only been a handful of times a guy has come back so hats off to rory he killed it and that really opens up a lot for both Bellator and 
Rory McDonald. Yeah, so I, I had one different take, Joel, and I hear what you're saying about him appearing to be a shot fighter because I've heard other people say, I just didn't agree, and he, let me tell you why. He fights Robbie, okay? He's winning that fight, and that's not just our opinion. That was the official judge's scorecards. He's in the, the fifth round, and he's winning the fight. Uh, he ends up losing the contest, but the point was he was that close to being the world champion. You then fast forward, he gets thrown in there with Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy, I thought, was winning each round, but I did think they were very competitive, and Wonder Boy's style is so incredibly hard, and Wonder Boy was so close to being the world champion, and there Rory was competing with him. So I'm looking at this going, okay, this guy's coming up short. However, he's doing it with the absolute best in the world, and it's tit for tat. And I just wasn't ready to say this guy's shot at all. Just you know, Maybe he's not the best in the world, but boy, he's something special. And then you know he did move, he did lose some time. Did he have a knee injury? Was there a surgery or something in there? Got thrown in or a he shoulder? might have had a knee injury, but he broke he broke his nose twice, really really bad. Broke 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 his face. Yeah, his face. His he face got broke. Vessels off. and the eye twice. bit and the whole. So anyway, he missed some time, but I just sure wasn't ready to write him off. And he's a young guy. You know, those guys can bounce back a little bit different when you're young like that. And it looked like he was an up and comer, and I think there was maybe a few moving parts in that that Robbie fight where you go, okay, Robbie won, but yeah, I'm not sure who the best in the world is. It's one of those two guys. I mean, I think he's that good, and uh, yeah, for him. So I just never thought he was shot. I guess that's my message. Now, Paul Daly sure as hell isn't shot. Paul Daly's looking better than ever, but he does have some deficits on the ground, and Rory had the ability to get him there. So let's tune in and see what happens. And sure enough, Rory got him there, and that was that. Did you see the? Uh, the post fight dust up with with Venom Page and Daly. Um, no, I read about it. Well, the one I got to see it. Some you know fans in the crowd. Somebody had caught some video and it came out. It could have even been Bellator for for all I know. But it was a really quick clip, and somewhere it got released, and there was some footage, and I couldn't quite see the squirmish. But that's just Paul Daly. I mean, there's some of those guys that can lose, and it doesn't. They don't lose any face. It doesn't hurt. You want to see them fight again, and that's a really rare thing. But he has that. And, you know, going and getting in MVP's face wasn't to, to try to lay groundwork for a future fight. That's just him. He's a rough guy. I mean, you remember how he got kicked out of the UFC the first He's a rough guy being himself. And there's something there. There is something compelling, and there's something that you want to watch, and you're going to tune in. And, yeah, did he get overwhelmed? Sure he did. Do you want to see his next one? Yeah, you bet you do. And the next one after that. And, and the next yeah, one and after he's that. Already... He's, he's got the style. He, he's got the He's got the bully persona. Uh, he's got the cool accent. I mean, he's, he's, he's got everything. He's got the look. He's got the body. He's got everything. And he's going to tee somebody up. He might lose next fight, but, but there's a good chance that he tees somebody up pretty good too. And, and that's, that's what people watch. I don't, you know, like you said, we haven't talked in, in a month or whatever. Uh, the last UFC, it was a good fight and they were booing. Who, which, it was a, which fight did they boo? Anyway, there was a fight on the main card. Remembering's hard. Remembering is hard. And they booed, and I was like, that's because they want to see a bloodbath. They're so used to seeing bloodbaths. I will remember this. Um, I don't remember them booing, but I know as a fan, I was into them all. I mean, what, what Frankie went out and did, the Poirier... Alvarez fight was awesome. Joanna always delivers, and then Stipe was only out there for two minutes and twenty seconds. So what in the hell can you say there? I'll tell you this though, as as you're trying to remember what fight, I'm, I'm trying to refresh your memory on the fights. Uh, the, oh, you know what one it was? It was the David Branch. David Branch. There they you were, go. Yeah, there you go. There's more there to that go. though. There's more to. I hear fans. I, I hear promoters all the time saying what people want to see. Nobody knows what in the hell anybody wants to see. A lot of times, fans want to boo. You know, a promoter will go home and and cry in his beer that night if his audience booed. That's because he's out of touch. Man, a lot of people are buying tickets. I'm I'm a negative fan. When I go to pro wrestling. I go to boo. I go to boo and heckle and jeer and let out that negative energy, and I'm buying a ticket to the next one, too, and I had a great time. Promoters lose sight of that. They lose sight of that constantly. If that crowd is reacting, you're winning, and that's that's all that it is. And I can just tell you that as a negative fan, because I am a negative fan, I love it. I go there to be – I don't mean it. I don't wish any of those guys anything bad, but – for my cheer, when I'm going to use my vocal cords, man, it, I'm coming out to be negative. I mean, I'm having a hell of a time with it. That's apples and oranges. You're talking about entertainment, which is the WWE, and you're talking about two dudes 
in a get down festival in the middle of a cage. Yeah, but I'm saying that's not necessarily a bad thing when the crowd's booing. The crowd's, but nobody, here's, I guess, my larger message. When the crowd is booing, people like to say, well, they want to see a bloodbath. They want to see two guys stand and bang, or they want to see a submission. They want to see, nobody knows what in the hell. What focus group did you ever take where a fan told you what they want to see? That's never been done. And I hear promoters and media members alike coming out and trying to tell the fans what it is they want. It's it like, wasn't look, that fight. The it arena's was... sold out. There's all sorts of reasons a fan would boo. You think David Branch has the same chance as the next guys. People want him out of the ring because Frankie's up next, and Frankie's supposed to get cleaned up by 10 and 0 Yari were ear. So there's no reason that that people are going to cheer for David Branch, no matter what he does. That's not David's fault. He fought his ass off. They, he just got put in a bad placement on the card. That wasn't it. It was it was Maya and 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 Mazdaval. I thought that was a great fight. Somebody booed during that. Are you sure? Yeah, it was. It was. It was. I don't know what they were doing. It was. It was. A great fight with very limited action because it was so close to being finished for 15 minutes.